What is up guys, it is Cuckoo Kev. I am back with a quick video. Uh, I wanna teach you guys how to set a manual cam chain tensioner. I don't have an automatic cam chain tensioner with me, unfortunately, but I do have the manual one. And I wanna show you guys how to reset that if your cam chain tensioner is loose. And usually you can tell that um, when you're decelerating your motor or you're revving it, and you hear more of a rattle, uh, like, a, like a chattering sound. So fortunately, I have an open motor with me and I have a closed motor, my bike, both with uh, manual cam chain tensioners. Um, but there's a lot of videos online on how to readjust your automatic cam chain tensioner. There's a little trick to that because they have uh, they're spring loaded and sometimes those springs wear out after a while. That's what they come with from factory. Um, and those springs wear out, they get weak, and as your cam chain wears, your spring doesn't push um, your little pin out. There's a lot of that online, but this is for the manual cam chain tensioner. And if you're a little uh, mechanically inclined and you like to work on your own stuff, I personally like the manual cam chain tensioners more. I can just quickly adjust that. Um, unfortunately, like I said, I'm doing a valve adjustment on this motor, so I have it open and I can show you guys how that works. It's actually pretty simple. So here's the motor. We got it open. Back here, this is where your, your cam chain tensioner is going to sit. So if we take this out, I'll show you the cam chain tensioner itself. So this will pull right out. And this is all it is, guys. It's pretty much just a housing to hold it and a pin to push it. So essentially, all this does is this nut holds the, uh, the bolt in place once you have it set. And all this does is when it unthreads, it pushes that pin out or pushes that bolt out. And when you tighten it up, it pushes that bolt in. And all that's going to do, if we look over here, all that's going to do is this ride right there. hope you can see that well. This ride sits right up against this cam chain on this end of the motor, like that. See it moving in there? So when everything's tight, this is going to sit there, and this tensioner comes from the back of the motor and pushes on it. Now you see right inside, you can see right where that sits. See that? And when you tighten it up, all that does is push on that little cam guide down here. It pushes it back and forth so it puts more tension on the chain. Now in this chain stretches out a little bit due to wear. Um, the automatic cam chain tensioners automatically are supposed to tighten. Now they fail very often, so people get these and they just do it themselves. I started putting this motor back together, so I'm gonna show you what it actually looks like on the inside while you're tightening the cam chain tensioner. So, here we got this guy. So you got your cam chain tensioner here, bolt loose. You got your cam chain. So right now, this guy is loose. You can tell here, that chain's wobbling a bit. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten it until we start to feel a little bit of pressure on the bolt, All right? Feel it there. I'm gonna back off about an eighth of a turn. And now we're tighter. Now let's say I tighten it too much, it's tight, very tight. So what I like to do when it's on the bike, I start to turn the tensioner in. As soon as I feel that pressure, I go about a half turn and then back off about an eighth. And that should be it. That's all you gotta do. Perfect tension. Once that's tight, turn the second bolt in right here. Hold this nut with the wrench and tighten this nut to the right with the other. 
and that's it. Your cam chain tension is set. You should be able to crank your bike right up and if the cam chain tensioner was the problem or the cam chain was loose, then your sound will go away. So it's that simple guys. And if you get on it, whenever you start hearing the sound, it's gonna save you a lot of headaches in the future. Don't let this problem go on. Cause uh, let's say uh, you let this problem persist and your cam chain skips a tooth. And by that, I mean if this chain skips a tooth on this sprocket, it throws your timing out of timing um, and it could lead to catastrophic failure um, like your motor literally blowing itself up. If you hear that sound, do yourself a favor, take care of it. Uh, the, cam, the manual cam chain tensioners are like 50 bucks. They're nothing special. Um, they bolt right on to, with the same bolts as the, the stock automatic cam chain tensioner. And if they don't, they usually come with the right size bolts. So go ahead, do yourself the favor and just get that taken care of. It's super simple. It probably takes 15, 20 minutes, even less if you know what you're doing. So uh, thank you guys for watching again. This is Cuckoo Kev and I am out.